Business and Bourbon. From Business and Bourbon, I am Ronnell Richards, and this is Day Drinking, your daily dose of business motivation, inspiration, and education. A bite sized version of Business and Bourbon wisdom to help you on your journey to personal and professional success. So yesterday, I, we, we spoke about podcasting, right? We spoke about, or rather, I spoke about, <laughs> you guys just listened. <laughs> I talked about podcasting and the merits of it for building your business and building your brand beyond listenership. Because most of us that get into this podcasting, even if you have a successful podcast, but which, by the way, having a successful podcast in 2020 means that you got a dozen people listening to you on a regular basis. That's just the facts. Because like 70% of podcasts don't have any listens. 90% don't make it past seven episodes. That's the real facts, okay, in terms of that. But you can't monetize that. You can't go to an advertiser and say, hey, I got a dozen listeners and there's, okay, cool, here's some money. doesn't work that way. But again, as I spoke about in yesterday's podcast, it's about creating that digital footprint. It's about having some social proof. It's about giving you credibility. All right, so here's what's next. Okay, if you're starting a podcast today, the reality is if you want to get some distribution, um, you have to be with a company that as part of a podcast network, which um, is very difficult to do. Like you can't just go pitch some guy and say, hey, look, I want to do this. And they're like, okay, that's awesome. It doesn't really work that way. Because you have multi-million dollar companies like Gimlet, like Wonder, uh, um, Wonderly, like um, uh, NPR, PRX, these folks that are producing content and that's their business model. So they've got millions of dollars in investor money and they just produce their own content. And then they advertise their other podcasts on their existing podcasts, on their successful podcasts. So they have formed like these gangs, for lack of a better term. They are gangs and it, they make it extremely difficult because just like any social media or anything, these uh, platforms like Apple and Spotify, they have algorithms built in them, right? So they know what's popular based upon what are people are listening to and all those sorts of things, just like social media. Again, the problem is, is that they have gamed the system. So these gangs have gamed the system. So your content, your new podcast can be amazing and not get any sort of real play distribution just because you are being crushed by the wave of these mat of these big companies that are producing their own content constantly and advertising that content on their other successful shows. So even if they have a crappy podcast, but it's being plugged or advertised on a successful podcast, it will get thousands of downloads and thousands of listeners and subscribers just because of that. All right. That's the reality. That's why I share that with you. So um, I've got a solution for this. Well, I won't call it a solution, but we'll just put it this way. Um, it is a strategy. So about a year ago, we started our own gang at Business and Bourbon, the Business and Bourbon Network as a way of creating our own network to help with distribution of quality podcasts. So we started that and had some pretty good success with that, with a couple of podcasts. And, um, you know, business happens and we're doing our thing and it's not something that we've put a tremendous amount of energy into since. You know, we've been producing our content, producing our podcast. Well, I have decided to open up the floodgates, so to speak, and bring in some new podcast content creators to the Business and Bourbon Podcast Network. The focus of the Business and Bourbon Podcast Network is to distribute great content, great podcasters who are doing quality work amongst our network of, po of other podcasters, right? And so what we'll do is do just like the big gangs do. We'll do cross-promotion, cross-advertising of those existing podcasts to help kind of supercharge the listenership of those podcasts, right? Of these, these new podcasters, you guys that want to start podcast. So 
What we are doing now is we are accepting applications for people that want to be part of this. What does it require right now? No money. It requires you to invest in your podcast. Follow our rules to do a quality podcast, which, by the way, if you haven't started a podcast yet, you have no idea how to do it. So I guess that's a benefit for you. Uh, follow our rules in terms of how we do quality podcast. Make sure that your podcast is is branded with the Business and Bourbon Network. And we'll cross-promote it. Simple as that. That's how we compete against the gang. So if you're interested, here's what you need to do. You need to send an email to info at businessandbourbon.net. Tell us what your concept is for your podcast. Send us your LinkedIn uh, profile so we can know your background. And then we'll talk. Okay? Simple as that. All right, guys. Thanks again for listening. You know I appreciate you. If you haven't told your friends, tell your friends. We need to increase the listenership of this podcast. And if there's something that you want us to talk about, you can let me know. Send us a message. All right? Have a great day. And again, thanks for listening. Thank you for listening to Day Drinking by Business and Bourbon. If you enjoyed our show, you can support it by rating us five stars and reviewing on Apple or your favorite podcast platform. Hey, I'd also like to invite you to join our movement to combat entrepreneur porn. You can do that by signing up for a free membership on the Business and Bourbon Network. You'll have access to exclusive content and forums where you can collaborate and uncover new business opportunities, jobs, investors, and further your business education. You can sign up at businessandbourbon.net. Again, that's businessandbourbon.net. Thank you for listening. And remember, your success is based on the little things you do each day, not the massive actions. Go out and execute the little things with discipline and consistency, and you'll be a winner in life and business.